What's up guys, I'm Legit Kid and well Valentina is almost there to 7 of 10 and I'm gonna show you why. I'm doing this basically every single day and it doesn't cost much but it gives you a lot so I'm rolling every day around I don't know maybe like 15 20k HB and sometimes you get crystal loose, sometimes green slime but whatever you get just consume it to your hero and you will save up some shards like I did and the rest of the experience I will just buy with shards 7.5k shards I believe a little bit more and there she is, 7 of 10, removing silence from my heroes, restoring their energy up to 84. And that talent, it really sucks, so let's change it. Reroll and get. But Borgad, not the best, but still, it's Valentina. Alright, now, finally, I did Wretched Gorge 3 solo, and here's the video. Uh, you will see the really MVP is Funky Duke. Maybe not, maybe Phantom King, but you'll see what happened. Alright, so basically, here comes the bosses and Druid and Cupid are dead, so I have no healer, right? And Pumpkin Duke is tanking the demon, which is good, cause he's the one with 8 of 8 light rain, and that makes it beatable for me, cause I don't have Ghulam and that stuff to keep stuff alive for me. And if you noticed, he didn't stun us for a long time, and I'm not really sure why, cause it seems like his energy is full all the time, but I don't know, maybe that maybe that Phantom King really is MVP, so I really don't know, but yeah, here's a win, and that works for me. And the next thing that I want to talk about is the garrisons. Now you know that I have around level 5 garrisons, all of them, not really all of them, but what makes your garrisons level 5? So here they are, and level 140, 7 of 10, most of them have 5 fate talent, and not bad ones, so look at them, 5, level 5, level 5, and it's time to make another 5. So, it's a ice demon with 4 or 5 revive, it's 4 or 5 but still works good, not really use him much, but at some point you need to bring garrisons up, and that's for sure, they will help you for guild wars and HBM and that stuff, so bring your garrisons up, that's the only thing that I can say. And here comes the demon to 7 of 10, looks good, and... Now we need to level him up up to 140 cause as you can see he doesn't give you level 5 yet so here we go Ice Demon consume Oops. and I could sweep him it would take only a few sweeps but for the sake of the video I will just and some books now use this brown book 100k uh, experience some purples and remove one Consume greens, and there he is, 140, 7 of 10, and finally that gives you level 5, exactly level 5 in garrison. And I just need to bring up one more, and that's it, I'm good with garrisons. Now, I want to talk about might, and a lot of you guys asking me, how, how do I push my might so, so easily and so fast? So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you right now. Just look at them, look at my heroes, all of them are 7 star or more, and you just need to waste a little bit of HB, actually it's not a waste, cause you get more back with mine. And when you get them up, like this, ninja 140, actually 7 star, just level their inscriptions up, so inscriptions level 60, 60, 60, 40, and that's how you get mine, it's so easy, look, now I will show you Cupid. Exactly what I'm gonna do, level him up up to 80, and level him up, upgrade, 5 star, and inscribe him. So, 
That's the only thing that you need to do. Every time you have mana, just consume that mana in inscription levels. So yeah, that's it, and it's really not that hard. Also, another way to push might is level your hero skills up to 2 of 10, as you can see, all of them are 2 of 10 or 3 of 10. And doesn't cost much hearts, like 150, but gives you a lot of might. So yeah, just do it and you're golden. Now also you can gain might with level upping your buildings and magics. You don't really get much might from it, but every little bit helps. Now about buildings in uh, Ratchet Gorge, it doesn't give you might on your, on your account, but it helps you in Ratchet Gorge. And Aerial Towers are level 27, base level 26, Magic Towers are going up to 19, Walls level 20, and that's it. Alright, now, I'm, I want to show this funny Pumpkin Duke, Elf Elf, Hero Trial. It's kinda glitchy, I don't know really what happened there. I guess they got some buff from other pumpkins, but... DD killed them all, and that guy that stayed alive have revived, and he's kinda buffed, but not really. As you can see, he's going fast, but then he's waiting. I, I don't know really what happened there. It's just funny to watch, so <laughs> you will see right now. It's kinda glitchy, and look at this. He's fast, but then waiting and waiting. Stun as I have awesome towers, right? And just smashing that gold mine fast but still slow. And oh my god, look at this now. So fast, but then still slow, right? There. When? And I got. Oh, sweet. Gem. Alright, now I pushed yesterday Lost Realm from level 19. I had like 90k, but you needed 100k. And was doing that for like maybe hour or two hours. I will just speed this whole process up around I don't know five thousand times I guess. And finally I got to level twenty. I got seven or eight thousand red crystals, some blue crystals, bunch of rewards, Kirby demons challenges and that stuff. And finally there is a level twenty. I leveled up all my crystal mines to level 20 so I can gain up to 10,000 blue crystals and that's it. Now I was thinking about quitting attempting HBMC because there were so many good attempts and still lose and my buildings are seriously low like bases level 17, come on for HBMC and this was attempt after attempt, and every time I got to T5, but still off. And this one seems like the best so far. T1, 8 seconds? Are you kidding me? Now, T2, another backpuff spawn and bottom spawn. Sent a Nuktol, but at this point I thought, oh my god, me not gonna wreck my bait. But no, DD for the win. Alright, now, waiting for that mold to destroy all buildings. That attack from Molt is pretty high, man. Alright, almost there. Just two mana melts more. Mana volts, mana melts, I don't know, not sure. And right here we can see how good my stun towers work. Stun it, stun it again, stun it again, yeah, stun. <laughs> Alright, going to T3, another backpass found, Valentino will rewrite up. Everyone and Santa nuke it once again. Come on, there it is. It's all over now. Going to T4 with that many buildings, not happening that often, but of course, double right sound. They are gonna take out at least one or two, three buildings. Not sure, two, yeah. All right, now only bosses left. One boss will get slowed down, but still, look at this now. Oh my god. Million damage! What? <laughs> I'm not sure it was DD or Slowdown from Druid, but anyway, million damage is there, and of course, double left bound. Not happy with this, but hopefully I can beat it soon. T5 is almost there, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, 
drop a like button and subscribe for more. Peace!